starting to think we're not going to find him. I don't want to say you're right, man. We, but how, it's been months. We haven't gotten any leads. We haven't found, figured anything out. You've been doing your mad science on these things. Uh -huh. That's why we're out here today, skeet shooting. I, I was hoping that we'd be able to get our minds off it. I know that sounds bad, but... Wait, stop. What? Stop. What? You hear that? There! Where is it? Where is it? I see it. I see it. What? No, no, no. Steve! What Steve! What about the science Steve bit? What is happening? Welcome back to the channel, Dem members. Uh, slight change of plans, I guess. We are gonna be doing another science video today, but Steve has run off with that gummy bear. I guess he's gonna interrogate, try and get some information out of it. So, you know, I thought, well, this is a perfect opportunity to do some restoration work on this old safe. You know, this safe actually used to be Aaron's and he recently upgraded to a Liberty safe. I don't know if that's actually an upgrade anymore. Regardless of that fact, he had an extra safe and Steve has a growing gun collection and he let us know that he could use another safe in his house. So we figured why not just take this old safe and fix it up for him. Before I get into stripping this down a bit, I figure why not just show it off a little bit. As the door shows, this is a stack on safe. A little bit of research tells me that this safe was made in China. Would you believe it, China? But being a second, third or fourth hand safe, that really doesn't matter at this point. Also, this has an advantage over many newer safes, especially from Liberty, in that it has a combination lock. Sure, it may take a little longer to get to your guns in this safe with a old style dial combination lock than a modern one, but at least you don't have to worry about the company that made the safe giving out a master backdoor code to any agency that is interested in the contents of your safe. So taking a look inside, as I said, there really is isn't anything to speak of here. It is legitimately just a locking safe. It looks like it's about a 10 gun safe. And then it's got a little place where you can put ammo or maybe a handgun or two, but that also comes out. Um, this is not a fireproof safe. It is broken in a couple of spots. I'm probably going to be using just a little bit of Bondo on this. But other than that crack, this is actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, the interior isn't really going to need any work. I'm going to wait to clean it out until after I have gotten it all sanded and painted. Oh, that pad is kind of eaten up and looks like so is the bottom one. I might replace that. As I said, it's nothing crazy, nothing that special. It's just a very simple, sturdy, old third second hand safe and i'm looking forward to doing this i like doing little restoration projects here on the channel for the first time in i don't know how long it's actually getting difficult to decide what is going to go what week so if you haven't already you should definitely subscribe to the phantom llamas den for our future content hit that bell icon to get notifications on that content and if you're liking this video and if you like what you see in this video please consider hitting that like button it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm, especially since Second Amendment and firearm content really do seem to get censored in the YouTube algorithm and by the YouTube gods. As always, thank you so much for the support and we can't wait to show you what we have in store. Okay, with that, I'm going to switch out cameras to our time-lapse camera and I'm gonna start sanding this thing down. Battery power, the way of the future. No.
Okay, this is gotten pretty dry. It's not perfect yet, but it's probably safe enough to start pulling this off. It is not going to be a very satisfying peel. It actually turned out pretty good. You know what? I think I actually like the the gold accent there, the brass accent. Is that brass? Gold. That accent. Right, let's go ahead and figure out where to start this. Is there such a thing as visual ASMR? I feel like there is because when you have that really nice peel on something like an electronics, like a, a monitor or a big screen TV or a glass panel on one of those custom gaming towers. It's really a satisfying feeling. And it's really, honestly, nice to watch too. So I think there's such a thing as visual ASMR, but I don't know. That, that stuff, that's a whole other thing that I don't quite understand. I'm familiar with it, but I don't understand it. All right, let's see how bad it is in here. Oh, okay. There's no spray that's been absorbed into the lining. Maybe there's some right here. As you can see, that little hole back there. But on the back here, there are three holes. So there's, there's the little one. There's a bigger one down here and another small one. I'm assuming the small points are for mounting points maybe to the wall because there are some in the base of the safe. And I'm guessing this bottom one is probably for some electronic device, whether that was a power strip for lighting or a dehumidifier that was connected inside the safe at some point. But that actually turned out pretty well. So I don't really have too much to do with interior. I'll just vacuum this out and I think we'll be good to go from there. Ah, it scratched the paint off. That means oh yeah i didn't notice that before so the top of this door has been bent slightly in oh dang it steve i'm i'm sorry about that and as i said i'm not gonna redo any of the interior paint i it's just gonna be green overall i'm very pleased with how well the paint turned out there's some streaks there's some unevenness that you can see you can see some of them right here the horizontal lines but overall i'm quite pleased with how this thing has turned out i'm gonna go ahead and get this down to steve in the coming days but i think that's about gonna do it for this uh oh hey oh 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 steve good timing hey uh guess what i just got whoa 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 slow down slow down what's going on what you you got it to talk you know where darren is okay time out time out dude breathe don't go trying to do anything by yourself. Let me get the guys together. We'll do this together. We're all in this together, man. Yeah, okay, just, just hang tight. I need to make some calls. We're ending this. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to get the notifications on future content. Follow us over on X, formerly known as Twitter. And as always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.